permanent for my entire 63 years. Now, overcoming challenges and breaking state records all leads me to this year's AISA playoff. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and help me welcome to the field our 2023 winning team one more time. Welcome Ranger fans, we are out on the field for our Friday Night Lights, first round of AISA playoffs. Might be a little loud here as we're playing our Ranger music, welcome them to the field. Got our Rangers behind, the Rangers lead the way sign, about to take the field, excuse me why I scream. So I hope that wasn't too loud. If it was, I apologize right now. Our Rangers look rowdy on the field. Love it when they walk out with our Ranger flag. Looks like our captains for tonight's game is number 53, Stephen Howard, number two, Kevin Mason. And number eight, Caleb Cole for the Fighting Rangers. I apologize, we missed uh, Metaview's captains. And just a little introduction for those. Oh um, yeah, we just started it out <laughs> that, didn't we? Go ahead, Morgan. So uh, I'm Morgan Kamoli. I'm the admissions director at Southern Prep. And my name is Jennifer Isbell. I'm the vice president here at Southern Prep. What an honor it is for us to be able to call the first round of playoffs here on Ranger Field. Although, here's a little warning, we do not know a lot about football. We do have a couple of talking points shared by our head coach, Roland Bell. We'll try to slip those in when we can, but just being real honest, we'll probably get caught up in the moment and just be calling football as we can. The we best are more we can. <laughs> we are more of the colorful commentary. The um, we can tell you about the boys, just not so much about football. So just bear with us. Um, <laughs> Maybe mute your TV if you'd rather know the technical. That's stuff. right. <laughs> Won't hurt our feelings. All are welcome here. Looks like the referees are telling you go ahead and zero out the clock. We're ready to get started. I will say the winner of this game tonight will play Springwood next Thursday in Lynette. I was trying to remember where they were. We've been there several times, but um, the winner will play Lynette next Thursday. Hopefully that'll be us Rangers. However, they beat us in the first game of the season, but it was like the first or second game. I feel like our Rangers have really developed and grown um, in their skill set and their ability to play as a team. So it could be a great match. Yes. Great game. Matchy soccer. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, and I always forget about that cannon shoot. All right, and there is a flag. And there are some conversations taking place. Did they wave off the flag? Possibly. All right, who are we supposed to apologize to for Mr. Johnson? Oh, we're supposed to apologize to Mr. Don Johnson. Um, <laughs> Mr. Johnson said 
that you were listening. Um, so hello, and we apologize for not knowing very much about football, but hope you enjoy our colorful commentary, yes. Mr. Johnson. All right, Meadowview with the ball. And he is up the field. Oh, and taken down by number eight, Caleb Cole, on the 40-yard line. And one thing about Caleb with his tackles, he is actually ranked number one in Alabama eight-man with his tackles and number 25 nationally. So far, he has had 127 tackles. That looked like 128 to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks like we've got number seven with Meadowview Christian down at the 45. Speaking of uh, Caleb Cole, he is the second Cole brother to come through Southern Prep. The first one was Evan Cole. He graduated and went to Mid Midway, Midway University. In, yeah, in Kentucky playing football. And I feel like Caleb's got another year here, but I feel like he too will leave us and go on to play college ball. Mm -hmm. And then under him, his younger brother um, in the, I don't remember if Bryson's eighth or ninth grade, but he will be the third Cole to come through here again on a football uh, path. Younger, but still has a lot to offer the sport of um, football. Another, another set of brothers that we hi have here are August and James Rather. August is a junior, plays football, and then James is, again, ninth a or freshman. tenth. Is he a freshman? Okay, playing football as well. Bright futures for them. And they're both to be on the field tonight. Oh, number eight tried for an Odell Beckham catch with the one hand. It was unsuccessful, though. Meadowview has the ball. Oh. And, and taken down by 52. Which is August, rather. The older, rather, brother. Nice tackle, August. We got some facts about August. We could... Yes, so August is actually, in regards to tackles, he is ranked number six in the Alabama eight-man with 92 tackles. Oh, and that actually, that was the quarterback, right? So that would have been a quarterback sack, and yeah. we have a stat about that as well. August is ranked number four in the Alabama eight-man and number 62 nationally with 10 quarterback sacks. I would say that was number 11. Oh. And it looks like number 37, Josiah Anderson for the Fighting Rangers takes down number eight on the Meadowview Christian. And Josiah, I'm gonna say all my facts in the first quarter, I won't have anything left, but Josiah is ranked number two in Alabama eight man and number 30 nationally with 11 quarterback sacks. So good job boys, keep up the great work.
good catch by number four, Kendarian Robinson. By the way, today is his birthday. That's right. So happy, happy birthday, birthday KD. Young man. Nice catch. Okay, number two, Katie Kevin Mason passes. passes to number 24, Nate Johnson. And it is good, I think, or was it out of bounds? It was good. All right, well, we'll take it. <laughs> good job, Nate. And it looks like they are at the 28-yard line. And I think Coach Newman wants them to run the 40. Whatever that play may be. <laughs> uh oh, I saw a flag. On the defense. Defense, a penalty of five yards. I believe they said obstruction. I don't know, I couldn't hear. Oh, and they're calling in another referee. Dead ball, false start. Penalties offset. Pass over to number four, KD, and there is nothing but green in front of that young man. Let's give him a touchdown and a happy birthday again. Way to go, KD. Morgan, what do you think about little KD down there showing out for his birthday? I think that we will take it. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed we will. Looks like we may be going for two. Kevin Mason with the pass over to number eight, Caleb. And that was an easy two points. Yeah, I mean, nobody had him. Nice work, Rangers. That makes the score eight to zero with eight minutes left in the first quarter. The Rangers are going to have to stay humble during this game. I know they may... Hopefully not, but they could possibly have come into this game a little um, boastful since the score to our previous uh, game with the Meadowview Christian was kind of a little higher uh, yeah, for us. Yeah, definitely a little higher. So I, in fact, do hope that they stay. And then should the score get like that, we will start subbing in our second and third string. KD might be a little motivated tonight. Um, his mom actually came in from Mississippi to surprise him for his birthday. So yeah. we'll take that motivation. Yeah. <laughs> We are glad to have the Meadowview Christian um, Academy here with us. Glad everybody was safe on the way down. Yes. And certainly hope that they have safe travels on the way back home tonight. And all of our families as well. Nice kick. And for those um, from Meadowview Christian that are listening, welcome in. Glad you are listening. And again, thank you for <laughs> putting up with the two of us. <laughs> We typically like to call out the um, opponent's names over the 
live stream, but we were not given a roster for these young men. Um, so we will call them by numbers. I know you parents and listeners probably know them by heart like we do our guys. So we do apologize for not being able to call them by their name, but um, we will make every effort to get their numbers correctly. Uh-oh, looked like a little bit of confusion. Mason with the pass over to, again, Kendarian Robinson. Who looks and then runs for another, another touchdown. touchdown. All right, young man. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to have to get your mama to come to every game. That's right. <laughs> Miss Crumb, get ready. We need you. Hopefully, we'll need you next Thursday over in Lynette. But the game is nowhere near over. A lot of clock left. And Oops, go ahead. Just going to say a little fun fact. So uh, one thing about KD is that he has been nominated for the Rising Stars, um, which is a football game that the boys, all American, all -American yeah. Rising Stars, that the boys can um, be invited to play in. And so he has been nominated. We are just waiting for an invitation, which hopefully comes by the end of November. So hopefully KD can um, be a part of that. All right, so the Rangers attempted another number two, and Meadowview Christian sacked our quarterback. No yardage whatsoever for young Kevin Mason, and the two-point was no good, making the score 14 to zero. Want to give a little shout out to some of our loyal and faithful listeners. Anytime Morgan Camoli and I are on live, that is Dave Camoli, and also David Kelly and Tim Haggerty. Hello. Thank y'all for always listening. We appreciate all of your support. <laughs> we do. Oh, kick that right to number 35. Uh-oh. Indeed, we do take him down. Looks like. Maybe Josiah Anderson, with the help of Jay Goggins, got him down. Uh-oh, is he okay? All right, and he is up, shaking his head that he is okay. That's number 35. Number seven with the ball. Oh, and he is taken down by number 37. That is Josiah Anderson. The Ranger student section is a little rowdy down here. Proud of their brothers for making it into the playoffs. Have some signs being hung up there. Morgan can't hide our Ranger pride. Go Rangers. Looks nice down there. We love to see the spirit. Y'all may can hear them in the background. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. It sounds like it comes through my microphone, but I don't know. All right, number eight, looking, looking. Oh, and he decides to run. And he's he's making, doing a great job yes. dodging. All right. And we finally wrapped him up. Number 99, Armand Boyd from Louisiana. There's a timeout on the field. Ninety-nine. Our status. Oh, I can't say that. Statistician. I <laughs> come to ask what number a player was. All right, Morgan. Let's see what we got. A fun fact is our head coach, Roland Bell, this is his sixth year here with us, coaching the Fighting Rangers to um, the playoffs this year. 
Um, we have eight seniors and four of them start. We have six juniors, four of them start as well. And then we have six sophomores. We have five eighth and ninth graders. So we're just, we've got a full team. Yeah, we do. Very talented team. lined up, met a few with the ball, and Rangers ready to play some defense and hold them. Number eight looking for a pass. And he passes to, to number one. one. Who takes it down the field for a touchdown. touchdown. Number eight, Caleb Cole just could not make the tackle. Way to go, met a view. The score is now six to 14. Let's see if they'll kick a field goal or go for two. What do you think, Morgan? If you were a betting gal, what would you say? I would say go for two. I agree. All right, Rangers, we need you to play some defense here. Don't leave number one wide open. He is not wanting to go down, but we finally got number seven down. Looks like that will be Boyd again and possibly August Rather. So the score does remain six and 14 with Rangers leading the way. And here we go. Let's see what the Rangers can do with this. And it looks like number one for Meadowview Christian is going to kick the ball. And Kevin Mason will catch and kneel. Rangers, let's see what we can do here. Looks like number 53 is two over to eight. number eight, Caleb, Caleb Cole. Cole. Uh -oh. And he is running. And he is um, gone. And there he goes straight down the field for a touchdown. Way to go, Caleb Cole. Oh, and there's the cannon in good old Ranger fashion. All right, now if you were a betting woman, um, are we running the ball or are we going to kick the ball? Well, since the ball is already placed on the ground, I'm going to go with oh, going for Oh, they two. gave it away. <laughs> oh, man. You were hoping I couldn't read the field. That's huh? right. <laughs> All right, let's see what Kevin can do with this. He's got it. He's looking. He's looking. And over mm. to Katie to secure the two, two points. points. Nice work, guys.
Kevin Mason. Well, we're not quite sure what happened there. But it's okay. We will <laughs> try better for the next play. <laughs> Right, and Meadowview is about to snap the ball. And number eight is taken down by number 37, and that is Josiah Anderson. All right, and they are at the 34-yard line. And number eight passes and kind of throws the ball away. And it is third down. Morgan, is your dad listening? I believe so. Dad, if you're listening, we let us know. We need a text to let us know how things are going. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, um, okay. Just got a text. He's listening. Yes. All right. Thank you. Number eight. And he throws it. Well, throws it away. Nobody was able to catch it. Uh-oh. Josiah almost got hit in the head with the football. That would have been terrible. Good thing he has that helmet on. <laughs> So just a little about our um, boys here at Southern Prep. I've called out how many seniors, sophomores, juniors, and things like that we have. One of the um, struggles that we face earlier in the season is our boys only get to practice about a week and a half, mm -hmm. two weeks if we're lucky, before the season actually starts. So I talked earlier that we had played Springwood before and they beat us, but I felt like we had grown. Um, it is because we don't have the time that other schools have to practice as a team. And we do have, uh, you know, open admissions, rolling admissions, and we get our boys all throughout the year um, from all over. So it's not like they come together, you know, 9 through 12 and play year after year with each other. They really have to, you know, quickly learn mm -hmm. the other strengths and weaknesses and, you know, how they do this and how they do that. So we do kind of come in kind of handicapped. But – always very proud of the Rangers and it's always amazing to watch them um, grow and develop from game one to like tonight the f uh, first round of playoff um, we I think make the best of it mm -hmm. but we do sometimes get defeated at the first game if we do not do very well or as well as the boys maybe have done at their previous schools or that they'd hoped we'd do this year Kevin number two Takes a pass to number 24, Nate Johnson, who is Who's going taking to it down the field for a touchdown. touchdown, Rangers. Way to go, Nathan Johnson. And Nate is a senior with us this year. Looks like everybody's looking at their wrist game books. 
that always cracks me up when the <laughs> coach calls a play and they all pull their wrist up like, what do we do now, coach? All right, looks like we're going to snap the ball. Kevin's going to look. Who's he going to pass it to? Up. Oh. And oh, oh, unlucky to number four. That is Kendarian Robinson, and he kind of patted his chest. My fault, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> And we, in fact, will let him slide because it is his birthday. That's right. But only this one time. And they recovered it. Oh, and number two was about to take off, but the ranger swooped in there and back did get them down. On it did the take two to get them down, but yeah. and it looks Maybe like thirty-eight ish. Yes. Got a little feedback from one of our dedicated listeners. Um, ask us to tell you guys the downs, Mr. Camoli, if in fact we knew, <laughs> we would tell you. But we do see this little sign across the field with and a one, so we'll say it's the first down, but I don't feel like that's right. I'm not sure. And the scoreboard says one. Okay, so we'll we'll go with the first down. So those that... Um, Uh-oh. Whistles, whistles. Okay, was that a did somebody call a timeout? I believe so. I believe it is a timeout. Coach Bell says not on me. Okay, so maybe Meadowview called for a timeout. It is cold out here tonight. It is true football weather. Morgan, we have another uh, friend listener. He is, in fact, listening to us from Texas. He is a um, school friend of mine, Travis Reynolds. Our kids played soccer together. Oh, wow. So he, too, is listening. I love the audience is growing. We're making it all the way to Texas. Okay. Well, ESPN, hello, Travis. Here we go. That's right. Some of our TAC officers were um, calling us announcers' names today, and if only I could remember the names <laughs> of those announcers. That's right. um, but we are coming for your jobs. <laughs> Hayes in Dallas, y'all better buckle up. <laughs> you can come back next week. We're ready for you. Absolutely, <laughs> you can. All right, number eight for the Meadowview, Meadowview Christian passes. passes. Oh, oh and number one has it, and he is going down the field. Oh, I'm. And touchdown, touchdown, Meadowview Christian. Okay, so I'm so thankful Morgan didn't lose the <laughs> speed because I thought the ball fell when eight and nine and two all had a train wreck, but <laughs> one just scooped the ball and kept running. Way to go, number one, for Meadowview. Sorry. And that is his second touchdown of the yeah, game. Yeah, sorry I was delayed with my excitement, but indeed I am proud of you. And they're going to go for two. All right, we need to hold them here, Rangers. Eight okay, passes, eight passes to, to I can't, number, number seven. seven. Yep, and, and he, he runs seven. it in. Number eight, Caleb Cole just could not get him out. All right, someone go back to it. I hope the Rangers are um, indeed humbled down mm -hmm. there because Meadowview is definitely coming for us, guys. They brought their A game tonight. Indeed. You got any fun facts over there, Morgan? Let's see here. 
So, so far, um, this is our most points scored in a season. We have had four, and this is obviously before this game, we've had 444. Um, our old record was 366, set by the 2021 team, who finished uh, season as finished their season as the NHSA Division II National Runner Up. So, um, so far we have this is our most points scored in the season. So that is great. All right, Nate Johnson with the ball. Is number seven, Brett Dobbs, senior Brett Dobbs, received that ball. Coach Caden Head sending a text in that he is super proud of these guys, but he agrees with Morgan. I we got to keep the foot on the gas. That's we right. We cannot be um, boastful and think we have this one in the bag because Meadowview came to play football tonight. Which is always better to me. I, I love the games yes. where there is that fight. You know, you never want a shutout for either team, in my opinion, because no. it doesn't really make for a fun game. Um, so it's, it's hard to commentate a game like that. Yes. So we're ready for a tough game. And hope the boys are too. I <laughs> wish we had a heater up here. <laughs> and that pass that Kevin Mason just made, I am not sure who he intended it for because there was nobody there that Miss Jen could see. So maybe that's a secret play or something. We're not we're not tracking Morgan. So it looks like it is the second down here. Gets the ball and looks. looks and throws it to oh Josiah Anderson, but it is an incomplete pass. But there is a flag. Is that going to be pass interference? I believe that is what that is. That's I'm what it looked like to us unskilled eyes up here, anyway. Oh, yep. Pass I interference. That oh, okay. Jennifer is learning. Only took us two seasons, but we're getting <laughs> there, folks. Okay, and we're going to, the ref is saying run that clock. And it is our, Kevin with the ball. first down here. Uh oh. Nice pass. Come on, Nate. And oh, unlucky. just a little short there. I think it was a little overthrown, Morgan, because it was out in front of Yes, he was a little short. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. The ball was a little far. He was a little short. My <laughs> apologies for the confusion. So the score here with three minutes and 43 seconds left in the first quarter is 28 to 14 with Rangers leading the way. And we have Stephen Hauer out there, senior. Also a brother, his brother graduated last year and is at UNG this year. And Stephen Howard was actually selected as the school's first ever AISA All-Star player. Oh. So he will play in the game on November 30th. Players must be a senior and have played at their current school for at least two years. Stephen is a four-year starter on our varsity offensive line. So great job, Stephen. Very proud of him. All right, so Kevin Mason passed that to Caleb Cole, who picked up some yardage, and I'm just going to say he was not going down. There were either two or three of the Meadowview Christian um, Trojans on him before he finally was taken down. 
To be so small, Caleb Cole is very mighty, as was his older brother and possibly his younger brother. All right, let's see. Kevin is scrambling, and he passes, passes again it. to Nate Johnson. Does and it, it is good. All right. Looks like we are in the end zone range. Is that is that what that's called? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. I apologize. But we are, looks like about at the five yard line there. What did you call it? The end zone range? I think I the think end zone is like when they make the touchdown. Well, we're close to the end zone. We're in the red zone. Let's say that. Oh, and pass to number 37. 37 for a touchdown. I might have just sang his name. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, and we're going for that two points and, and Oh. Josiah makes it in for those two points. They are good. The temperature, Morgan, is 55. It feels like it's 35 up here on the press box. Uh-oh, Morgan is breaking out the hand warmers. It's that cold up here to us. We're full service around here. <laughs> All right, let's see. Number two, Kevin Mason is going to kick. Two minutes and 17 seconds left in the first. Man, it feels like this quarter has lasted for 20 years. Number two. Oh, it's taken down by number nine, mm -hmm. Jay Goggin. All right, Jay. I apologize. Um, I'm getting a text from um, my father who says Jennifer is correct in that it is the red zone inside the 20 and that he has never, <laughs> never heard of the end zone when Morgan. <laughs> we make up our own rules around here, folks. <laughs> All right, here we go. Defense, Rangers. All right, number eight's looking. Shakes off number 50, Jason Thompson, and he is running. And there he goes. Out of bounds at the 32-yard line, I would say. Okay. I can support you, just not the end zone thing. <laughs> the end zone zone? <laughs> I've actually never heard of the red zone, but thank you for teaching me something. Don't mention it. Snap the ball, number eight looks, and he throws it away. I don't know if you saw that move, but when he actually threw it, he kind of did a little spin. It was <laughs> a little impressive. <laughs> All right, and this will be the second down for Meadowview Christian. Right. 
he snaps it. Number eight, look. And he is running the he ball. He is. Okay, all right, Brett, get him down. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get loud. He could not tackle him, but he did run him out of bounds, so we will take that. And that is number seven, Brett Dobbs. And it is first down for Meadowview Christian. And he snaps it. Number eight looks. And will he run again? He's he going to throw, throw it. it away. He was pressured by number three for the Rangers. So just decided to get rid of it. I believe number three is um, Matthew Pappas. Oh, way to go, Matthew. I need on those long johns he's got on. It is a little colder, I will say, up in uh, we are on top of the press box, so it is a little chillier up here. snap number eight still gets it and he may run number 15 and he no. is running Our and he's Brett. going and oh oh number eight uh no, no touchdown. touchdown they have to be like definitely in the red zone but maybe at the one or two yard I, line. I would say probably the one it looks like you took him out right on the line and they're going to keep running the clock uh-oh, their team is hurry up. All right, hold them, Rangers. Go to get number eight. Oh, he gave it to seven. And seven who runs it in. right on through for a touchdown. Nice work, number seven. All right, Morgan, I think they're going to go for two. Are we going to give it to them or are we going to hold them? Oh, it's a tough one. Let's hope they hold them. Come on, Rangers. With a snap, eight fakes, he's got it, he's going in. Oh, oh, no good. And that is number four, Darian Robinson. To make sure he did not get that two-point conversion. We've got 22 seconds left in this first quarter, and it is 20 and 36 with Rangers leading the way. Hashtag RTLW. Hashtag strength of Southern Prep. Oh, R-L-T-W. Why didn't you correct me on air? It's okay. Why well, you sitting up there getting <laughs> <laughs> She tried, up. folks. <laughs> she tried. tried. An A for effort. We might should try, try out for stand-up comedy, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> we might be better at that. All right, and the ball is kicked. Kevin Mason. Takes it down. and runs. Out at the 35. 35. Miss Shirley Johnson down there cheering on the Rangers. All right. 
and the Rangers are about to snap the ball. Kevin looks over to KD, number four. And he is running, and he's taken down by number 12 and number two. On the 44, 43? I would say about, yeah, 44. Oh, I think you're right, 43. And that is the end of the first quarter. The score, 36 to 20, with Rangers leading the way. We're going to take a little water break and regroup. Morgan, you got any fun stuff to talk about real quick? So far, this is the only decade in school history to record a winning record. So I'm assuming winning season um, so far. So with 26 to 21 this decade. So that's and pretty school, impressive. Yeah, I mean, the school only has 15 winning seasons in the school's history, but we have three of those in the last five years. So in 2019, we the um, eight-man uh, D2 national champions, 21 national runners-up, and 23 we're six and five. So far, yeah. Pretty good. Again, Coach Bell's sixth year as head coach with us. We're very lucky to have him. Not only have him, but to have his wife, too. She does a lot for our football players and the academy as well. Kevin with the pass. and Oh! Intended for Caleb Cole, who I thought had it, but unfortunately he did drop it. Everybody's in those armbands again. Mm -mm, I heard a whistle. Oh, and it looks like we're going to back up a little bit. Believe that's lose about a yard. A yard. Maybe half a yard there. Kevin, he's looking, he's looking. Oh, he's scrambling, and he is taken down by and number 64, Morgan. Um, That looks like number 54. 54, yes. Couldn't tell if that was a six or not. <laughs> All right, and it looks like it might be the fourth down for the Rangers. for the Rangers, going to snap the ball to Kevin Mason, who looks. And he's going to run it. Run it. Go, Kev. Get that first down, right. and he does. Runs out about at the 50. I'm not sure why he didn't just run on down the side, but maybe it's just a play they know about. I will say he knows more than we do about, <laughs> about <laughs> this sport. He so. does. This young man is very talented, has a very bright future in football ahead of him, in my opinion. Yes. And, the, and his stats speak volume about Absolutely. Him. He actually holds the school record for most touchdown passes thrown in a season with 31 so far. The old record was 23, which was set in 2021. Oh, Josiah Anderson with the ball. Will he make it? Will and he make it? And he's going, and it's, it's good. good. Touchdown for Josiah Anderson.
going for two? Going for going two. Going for two. Oh, wait, there's oh. a flag, Morgan. Clock in the back. Oh, man. And we're taking it back to the 20. So I believe that touchdown was no, no good. good. Right. Well, I thought we were going to the 20. We're going a little farther. Yeah, it looks like they're taking us back to the 30. I don't know how to watch football well enough to know who had the block in the back, but somebody had a block in the back. And I'm assuming that means it was on us. Yeah, for sure, on us. All right, we're going to try again. Kevin looks, oh, throws it to Josiah, who does it again. All right, he reclaimed his victory. Nate Johnson there to help him up, or Caleb was. Or they both were. Team effort. You turning my volume up, William? Uh-oh. They might not could have heard me, and now they can. Uh-oh. Sorry for everybody. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I feel like I'm too loud. Oh, and Kevin Mason just walked in for two. Goodness, ask your dad, am I like screaming now? All right, come on, Rangers, let's get ready. Ten minutes and six seconds left in the second quarter. All right, and Rangers are about to kick off here. Hey, I'm, I'm not sure what that short kick was about. I don't know. Maybe something. There's a bunch oh, of flags. flags. Were we trying an onside kick and was unsuccessful? I don't know. There were so many flags thrown. I have no idea. Okay, I don't think they really announced what those flags were for, but I think we're still maybe a loss of up. yardage here. Yeah, for sure. It looks like at the 39-yard line. Mm -hmm. And this will be our first down. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Meadowview Christian first down. Number seven. Oh, taken down by number eight. Eight, Caleb Cole. And number 24 for the Rangers is going to help him up. We love to see good sportsmanship. Uh, indeed, we do.
All right, this is the tough part of commentating, like yes. when there's all this downtime. Uh, yeah, and we don't know enough about football to have, you know, time fillers and facts. We've said a lot, but we're – oh, they oh. just sacked that quarterback and the ball was – Oh, loose, okay. and then some flags went out. Let's see. I think he – is that intentional grounding? Oh, I got it right. S declined. How did you get it right? What can I say? <laughs> We're lucky jokesters <laughs> up here on these headsets tonight. <laughs> I don't understand intentional grounding, though. So he purposely – threw the ball away so he like threw the ball in the ground instead of trying to pass it to somebody number eight the quarterback for Meadowview okay we're gonna retry, retry. it because there was another penalty I'm assuming for the Rangers and it counter I'll say it yeah now that penalty, don't know what that was, but. <laughs> right, because we were talking. <laughs> still talking about intentional grounding. We're not good at the multitasking. No, huh? uh -uh, we get caught up in it. All right. Okay, so the score I'm, I'm for sure of, it's 44 to 20 with Rangers leading the way. Eight minutes and 33 seconds left. Um, looks like maybe the second down, and if the scoreboard serves me correctly, 12 yards to go. And we are in the second quarter. And we are at the 45-yard line right now. All right, number eight, looks, looks. We get a hand on him, and he throws it to, to number, number seven. seven and and he it's good. catches it, yeah. He was right there on the um, the edge of the line, but... It was inbounds. So one thing about being up here, we cannot see anything on the guest side, sidelines. Oh, okay. I, I don't think we were counting that. I wonder if it was out of bounds. We definitely couldn't have seen it. Oh, eight catches the snap and falls down immediately. All right, Kevin, and he is going a long pass to KD Robinson. Oh, oh, and it is incomplete. Gosh. It looks like he dropped that ball. Bless his little heart. Calm down. Keep your head in the game, young man. Unlucky, unlucky. He's got to brush that off and just try again. Ooh. So that'll be second down.
Oh, and there might be a flag here. Um, I'm not sure what the pat on the head means. Hey. But they, we are going to lose some yards here. All right, Rangers, we don't know what y'all are doing down there. All right, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Oh, and he just tossed. Ow! Oh. All right, we're having some struggle there. He tossed it to number eight, eight and he was taken down. All right, Morgan, this is, I think, the third down. Yeah? Yes. No. He well, this is why we don't call the downs, <laughs> Mr. Camoli. All right, Kevin's looking, and he is throwing to Caleb Cole, who <laughs> catches, catches it. it. Oh. What happened? All right, I think they were just excited for the good catch. I wasn't sure if it was inbounds there for a second, but it looks like it's good. At the 47? Yep. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, yep, first down. All right, I'm starting to get the hang of these a little bit. Yeah. Okay, they changed it because it was saying ball on 53. All right, we're going to be experts before we know it. All right, Rangers. Cole in motion, snap the ball. Kevin looks, looks, hurry, and throws to oh. Katie. Was Is that? Mm, I'm not I sure. think it was. I have no idea. I'm not sure either. I believe that's a no, no, no good. Catch, yeah. We're going to try again for the second down. Back on the 47. I wish the audience could have seen you up here doing that sign, <laughs> trying to tell me what. <laughs> oh, thank goodness we're not on camera. <laughs> thank goodness. <laughs> All right, let's go, Rangers. We snap. Caleb's got the ball. And he's running. And he's running. And he's and running. And he's running. And, he's and he. Ah! Touchdown? No. No touchdown. Oh. I mean, he dove for it. I don't know why we couldn't give him that. And we're going to do right. it, looks like, in the red zone. In the red. Look at you. All right, maybe on the four or the three-yard line. Balls on three is what the scoreboard says. All right, number two, Kevin, are you going to run it? He's going to throw it to, I'm not sure yet. Oh, Josiah Anderson. 37. For a touchdown, Rangers. All right. All right, Morgan, we're going for two. All right. Oh, we're going to get it. Place yes. your bets. We're going to get it. What's your bet? I bet we'll get it. I bet the score is about to be 52 to 20. All right, the ball snapped. Kevin, Kevin looks. looks. And oh, Nate no good. Johnson misses it. So oh, it's a good thing we're not betting people. That's right. <laughs> We'd be broke. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness Alabama does not have a lottery. <laughs> lottery. Not to get in all the politics, but not right. really. No. Thank goodness. <laughs> not, not really, no, no, thank no. goodness. But anyway. Let's for our luck is all we were saying. <laughs> right, right. For our checkbooks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see. What's going on? We're waving at number 52, August Rather. Oh, he just flexed Flex his fork. muscles for us. Yeah. 
All right, and it looks like Caleb Cole's going to kick the ball for the Rangers. It, is that Caleb or Jay Goggins? I can't tell. I if believe it's eight that's or a, nine. an eight. Okay, all right, you're right. Well, oh. you might be right. I'm going to be honest, from here, the eight and the nine look very similar. I'm going to put my warm hand on my nose. All right, five minutes left until halftime. Snaps, number eight looks. And he's going to sling the ball, intended for number one and number No seven. good, but there is a flag. That's going to be pass interference on number seven for the Rangers. Come on, Brett. <laughs> oh, and that's a loss of a, or a gain, I guess, for Meadowview Christian mm -hmm. of a good bit of yards. Ten, right? That looks it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. We'll go with what she says. Rangers really need to come on. stop here. Stop mm. them in their tracks. There's eight. And he catches it, number one for the Meadowview Christian. And that's a touchdown. Going for two. That's right. The Rangers are going to hold them right here, Morgan. I like the confidence. Yeah. I should be down there hollering, defense, Rangers, defense. Oh, number seven is trying to sneak in, and he is taken down by number, number. <laughs> Well, if you turn, it looks like. Five? Five? James Rather. James has done snuck in. I knew it walked like a rather, but August is 52, <laughs> so James Rather takes it down, making my statement of that they're not going to get the two correct. All right, the score is 50 to 26, four minutes and 50 seconds left until halftime. The degrees outside is sub-zero. Not quite, someone's <laughs> being a little <laughs> dramatic. <laughs> okay, 54 then. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, my uh, weather says 53, so we can take that All right. for you. Feels like 51. Feels like 35. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Meadowview Christian will kick the ball. Looks like number one, I believe, will be kicking. Mm -hmm. So you know when you watch college football, they have the play clock. Do we have that in this football? I feel like the coaches do potentially because I, I thought I've heard here and there you know um, five seconds or um, hurry up but not hurry up <laughs> but don't quote me on that anyone listening does high school have a play clock well yeah well eight man AISA and I guess all of our rules should be the same relatively and we're not 
All right, first down. We are at the 35, 25. Nope, we're moving. 35, all right. We're definitely at the 35, Morgan. Well, they were moving the ball in my defense. <laughs> All right, snaps. Kevin's looking, looking. Big throw. Oh, goodness gracious, alive. KD intended for Kendarian Robinson, who unfortunately got tangled up with the grass. Number 12 for the Meadowview Christians helping him up. I love to see, I know I said it earlier, but all around the sportsmanship on both teams has been great tonight so far. All right, number two, Kevin Mason throws the ball to number eight, and it's, it's good. good. Oh, okay. Yes. Nice catch, Caleb Cole. Caleb Cole has a fan in the stands, my friends. All right, and right at the 30. And that should be a first down for the Rangers. Stephen Howard, number 53, snaps the ball. A little high to Kevin Mason, but he still got it. Oh! oh. He's still on his feet. He throws it to Josiah Anderson. Who catches it and runs. And runs. And runs for a touchdown! <laughs> we might have got a little loud just then. We apologize. That was good. All right, so it looks like there is a clock, but um, not sure of the time, but there is a clock between plays. Oh, okay. It just, it just seems like forever between plays. I guess, I don't know. Not as bad as when we call JV football, though. Right. That is an extremely slow game. In our opinion. <laughs> In our expert. <laughs> yes. <laughs> expert being the fictional word. All right, number two looks and no, uh, to nobody. Like, was he trying to throw a field goal or something? Not sure what Kev <laughs> Kev was thinking there, but nice try. The score is still 56 to 26. Three minutes and 56 seconds left until halftime. All right, it's about time to start shuffling off some of these starters. I know we've already done a few, but shuffle off some more and let some um, other boys play tonight. I see Jackson Weston, number 20, out on the field. Who else we got? I'm, I'm looking here. Um. The play clock shows up on the feed. Oh, well, would you look at that? <laughs> we don't get to see the feed. We have to watch the field. The game clock. Potato, tomato, you know? Potato, potato. <laughs> It's off, kick. number eight, catches it, and he's still on his feet. And we're now in a blind spot. Looks like he ran out around the 45. Okay.
Number 50, Jason Thompson has made a debut out here tonight, also a senior. Number eight, running, throws it to number one. Oh, okay. it was close there. He was having some trouble catching that. Oh, my goodness. But there he goes, and it is a touchdown, touchdown. for Meadowview Christian. That was quite a, a distance that he ran. All right, and Meadowview Christian is going to go for the two points. Let's see if the Fighting Rangers can hold them. Low snap, but he scoops it up. Is he going to run it in? Uh-oh. And he throws it to number, uh-oh. And it's good. sure what's oh okay just the ref running to the side there <laughs> all right it's going to be kicked off <coughs> and is that matthew pappas recovered um, it yep yep number three and that looks like it is about at the 45 i'd say maybe 44 We've got some different numbers out there. 77, Walter Conrad. Is that 71? I believe Brandon Bell. Brandon Bell, and then 53, Stephen Haller. Oh, they just faked me out, too. Kevin with the long pass to number four, Kimberian oh. Robinson. Okay, now was that pass interference? Um, Looks like they're saying it's just a... Incomplete, incomplete pass. pass. Okay. I'm going to have to watch some more football this I weekend. Know, and, and I know, because I would almost argue, but. Yeah. yeah. We'll have to keep watching our football on Saturdays to get to be professionals. Nice catch by Kendarian Robinson. All right, he redeemed himself. Right. And I think that is about, well, right at the 20 there. Okay, and Kevin has the ball, passes it to number 37, Josiah Anderson, who runs 
Rockets and touchdown Rangers. All right, and we will go for that two point. And we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it. The Rangers are gonna get the two. I love the optimism. Thirty seconds left. Sixty-two to thirty-four. And we're gonna keep that clock running. I wonder if they're gonna try to get a play in or if they're just gonna let that clock run. I'm gonna go and let it run. Everybody's everywhere. I think you are right. So then that will be the end of the first half with um, the score being 34-62 with Rangers leading the way. Thank you. We'll talk to you soon after half. Bye-bye.
Okay, and we're back. Rangers have the ball. Kevin Mason running it down the field and runs right out of bounds. I'd say at the 40. All right, at the 42. Kevin throws it to Nate Johnson. And, oh, oh, and he may be wide open, Nathan Johnson. Oh. Okay. Touchdown, Nate. All right. I wasn't sure he was a little close to that line there, but it was good. That's Kevin's 10th touchdown, touchdown a new school record. which is a new school record. An Alabama State record. And an board. Alabama State record. All right, good job, Kevin. Sorry, Coach Bell. Does not matter. He's got the state record now all to himself. He has the state record all to himself. Good that is job, Southern Kevin. Preps number two, oh. Kevin Mason. Coach Bell trying to help us out with fun facts to share, but that is great news. Mm -hmm. Awesome job, Kevin Mason. We are proud to call you our very own Fighting Ranger. So not only is he setting the Alabama state record, but he has already set the school record for touchdowns as well. So good job all around, Kevin. All right, so this is number eight about to kick it, Morgan. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. We were struggling. Uh-oh, there's a flag. Trying to differentiate between eight and nine. Okay, and it looks like number 75, Caleb Taylor, is going to come in. As well as number one, which I believe is Alfredo Vieto. Is it Alfredo? And Caleb Taylor, okay. Number five, James Rather. Number seven, Brett Dobbs. 20, Jackson Weston. And... Nine, Jay Goggins. Five seconds, and he snaps, kind of low, but number eight grabs it. Uh-oh, number eight. Throws it to number one, one and it. he's taken, oh! <laughs> he was almost taken down by number 20 and put up a fight by after number one tried to take him down. Number one did get him down. I apologize, number one is Braden Pace. All right, number eight with the ball. He's looking to pass. Oh, no. He's, he's going to run. run it. Is anybody going to get him? Are and you going to get him? And touchdown, Meadowview. No? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh-oh, they said boom. That's their own cannon, I yeah, suppose. <laughs> yeah. All right, the score is 68 to 40. I was low-key hoping for a running clock because I'm darn near froze to death up here.
right, and it looks like they're going to go for those two points. Oh, oh, oh. oh, loose ball, but he grabs it and, and runs it in. And that's number seven. And then while this game is going on, um, there's also another playoff game that is taking place, and it is North River is hosting Evangel Montgomery, and that winner will play at Cornerstone next Thursday. Nice kick. Kevin Mason with the ball, and he kneels on the 25. Mm -hmm. 25. Maybe the 23. Oh, I think you're right. All right, Kevin has the ball. Throws Passes. to oh, Nate no. Johnson. Just slipped right through his fingers there. Yeah. Almost intercepted. Thank goodness it was not. Yes. Flag on the play. What is it? False start? Uh -huh. Offsides. I think offsides. It looks like maybe nothing or maybe they kind of they don't know and we don't know <laughs> that's right <laughs> oh nice pass to number eight caleb cole who is headed down the sideline will he make it oh, oh and he is taken down about the 48 i believe and that was number 10 that took him down First down for the Fighting Rangers. Ball is snapped. Kevin looks and throws to Josiah Anderson, and there is nothing but grass ahead of this young man making touchdown. a touchdown. All right. All right, Morgan, Are we we're going for two. Are we making two? Yes. We're making two. Is Kevin going to carry it in, or is he going to look for a pass? Oh. Call it. Hurry. Hurry. Look for a pass. Look for a pass. He's carrying it. He passes. Look for a pass. All right. All right. And the two points are good. You're getting good on your betting game, girl. Look at that. Right, number eight is going to kick the ball for the Rangers. Okay, so 
I think that's supposed to be like an onside kick, but I think it has to go forward 10 yards or some something along those lines. Okay. I don't know if it did that before we touched it. I don't really know. And I'm not sure. Are we able to touch it like that? I, I think it has to go forward 10 yards before we can touch it. Okay. I also don't know if I just made that up either. <laughs> hey, it sounded good, so I'm okay with it. In the third quarter is 52 seconds left. I feel like this quarter went very fast. Thank good Lord. <laughs> Someone's a little cold up here. <laughs> I'm a lot a bit cold up here. Number eight looks, looks. Will he, oh. will he run it? Look for a pass to, I can't see. Nobody. Him. Okay. We have to jump up to look over the table. Right, so that should be the second down. On the 43. 44. Is it? Mm-hmm. Pretty sure that was 43. Uh, <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Will we get him? And we did. Taken down by number seven, senior Brett Dobbs. And that's the end of the third quarter. 76-42. Rangers. This, go ahead. Rangers leading the way. On this nice, chilly Friday night under the bright lights in the beautiful Camp Hill, Alabama. might hear that wind because <laughs> we are feeling it <laughs> and one fun fact um the most points that southern prep has scored in a game um actually was against meadowview mm -hmm. and it was 84 points previously can we break that record tonight in the most points that we have scored we shall see eight points Yes. Quick math, quick math. Eight points. Look oh, at that. Oh, the ball is loose, and did we recover? I believe number eight, eight has the ball okay. for Meadowview. All right, so if we get a touchdown and a two-point, we'll be tied the, our, with the record. With, with our record, yes. Yeah. All right, can we do it? Can we do it? Yes, we can. <laughs> 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 11 minutes. I will say, clock. though, that Meadowview is, you know, doing a great job. Yeah, they are not giving up. Mm -mm. They are definitely giving us a run for our scores on the scoreboard. Yes. And the snap, eight looks. And number seven pressures him, and he tosses it to number one, seven. Is, oh, seven, you're right. And <laughs> he gets in. Touchdown, Meadowview. Yes. Number one, Braden Pace put a hit on him, but, mm -hmm. I mean, was nothing compared to our ninth grader. <laughs> he took it on in. So, touchdown.
All right, Rangers, hold him. Eight's looking for a pass. Over to one. Oh, he, I swear oh. he dropped it, but he is taken down. Those points are no good yes. by 58 and I can't tell, number seven? Yeah, Brett Dobbs. I believe I misspoke when we said number one was a ninth grader. I actually think he's an eighth grader. Our, not number seven. Our number one, Braden mm -hmm. Pace, is in the eighth grade, not the ninth grade. Potentially. <laughs> <laughs> Our brains are frozen. All right, Meadowview Christian kicks it off, and it is caught by number eight, eight. Caleb Cole. Oh, and he does a spin. And he runs. And he is taken down. By number 44. On the what, 42, 43, Morgan? No, 38. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm counting the wrong direction. <laughs> I do it all the time. <laughs> All right, come on, Rangers. Come on, Rangers. Oh, we're running that clock. Okay. I will take that. Uh-oh. Something. So I'm very unsure of what's going on on and the we're, field. We're going to take a quick water break here. So did they call to play a running clock and then we got upset about that or something? That's all, that's all I can decipher from the madness going on. It could be. You know who are not the people to know those things? Us. Us. All right. Okay, there. I don't think they're going to tell us about it either. All right, now we're going to start that play. Kevin to KD. KD. Oh, who put oh, up a fight. Away. Go, KD. And, oh, was taken down by number 32. Uh oh. Oh, flag here. Uh -oh. Why would he? All right, false, false start, start on, on the, the offense. Outfit. Five yards. We both got that one. Yeah, we actually heard that call. And that'll be second down. All right, come on, Kev. KD, KD. Oh, to number 37. Oh, oh, who is taken down immediately by number 10? And 
that looks like the 47 yard line. And it'll be the first down. Okay. Kevin is going to run, the gonna ball. run the ball. All the way to a touchdown. touchdown. All that right. Was, that was a nice little run. Now, if we get this two points, we will be, be tied, tied for our record of most points scored in a game. Can we do it? We can do it. We are going to do it. All right. Let's see. Will he run it or will he throw it? He will he'll throw it. To oh, go. my. Do we got it? We, oh, what? I what? believe the other team caught it, and there's a flag. flag. What is that? Um, um, say it out loud, please, sir. Um, <laughs> we're unsure. <laughs> we do not know what all those hand signs meant. I think it just means no points. <laughs> <laughs> but I very well could be wrong. Right. <laughs> just in. Let's see. <laughs> okay, so... We did not get those points. That's all right. There's still time on the clock. <laughs> We're definitely playing the running clock. So maybe a while ago all that ruckus was about the running clock. Southern Pump kicks the ball. Another flag, hand to the hips, and then points. I don't know what that means either. Was that blocking? I don't know, Morgan. Re-kick. How is it a re-kick if it's from way back there? They may have gotten a penalty, which means they lost some yards. Mm -hmm. And then and they had to re-kick. Okay. All right. I can get behind that explanation. Let's hope it's correct. All right. 32 goes down. All right. On the 42. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I believe that the reason we did that is because it was off sides is what I'm hearing from okay. viewers at home. Okay. Thank you. All right, one minute, 37 seconds and counting down. And before this ends, we just want to again, thank everybody for Number tuning eight in. Number eight is on the move. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Nope. Morgan, he throws oh. deep to, oh. Looks like he was going for number one. All right, no flags, right? I don't see any. So incomplete pass. We're good with that. Okay, now you can thank Just everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, uh, the timeout. Okay. Go ahead. Timeout. All right, so I just wanted to thank everybody for tuning in um, at this playoff game. I know we still have a minute left on the clock. We are running it down, but um, just thank everybody very much for tuning in. And putting up with us, although I will say this is probably our best broadcast the two of us have done. I agree. I agree. Other than freezing to death, I've had a blast <laughs> here tonight. As have I. Um, 
Look forward to our Fighting Rangers playing round two at Thursday, Sp Thursday at, at Springwood, Springwood, which is in Lynette. Um, hope to see our Ranger fans supporting us there. Um, we will not do the live. I know y'all are probably all clapping back at home. Or crying. <laughs> or, <laughs> yeah, maybe some are crying. But we do really appreciate you and hope we haven't um, been too terrible for you. And here we go with the last minute on the countdown. The score is 82 to 48. And the snap. He looks for a pass. He may He's go on the run. run it. And run and throw. Deep to number seven. seven he catches. Touchdown. That is called playing ball to the last minute. Not sure why we're. Yeah, like why are they stopping the clock if we've been playing a running clock up until now? Again. Oh, they're saying run the clock. Yeah, oh. run the clock. Don't stop the clock. Run the clock. I'm not sure why we're, I guess, the point difference, I suppose. I, I'm not sure. Maybe the clock watcher man is cold, too. That very well could be. That's probably the main reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's hold them right here, Rangers. No two, no two. Passes it to number two. Right on and in. Right on in to secure there, too. And that will make the score 56. No. Fifty yeah. 56 to 82. 82. Still Rangers coming out on the top. We took the Trojans down tonight, just as we advised them to do with our signs. Uh, <laughs> homecoming, not homecoming, our HQ decorations supporting and showing our Ranger pride. Morgan Camoli and Jennifer Isbell are signing out. Thank you. Thank you.